Good morning guys. It is a Thursday morning and it's 11.55 a.m. right now. I have a two hour break right now and then I have my other class and then I have another class so they're like back to back and I'm done around 4.55 p.m. with class. I'm still on my PJs. I showered already. I woke up super early. Well, no, I didn't wake up super early. I woke up at 8.30 in the morning actually. Thank God because my husband texted me. Um, I almost forgot to turn in a research proposal that was due this morning before 9 and I want to sleep last night like around 2 something because yeah I am such a procrastinator when it comes to doing my homework and yeah that's my life you guys that is my life my hair is still wet it's kind of dry from the front but it's still wet from the back and I don't know I wanted to show you guys what my day is going to be looking like today i already had one cup of coffee but i need to get another one because i'm still falling asleep i mean i think it's like the third night that i haven't properly had a good night's sleep and it's sad it's really really sad really really sad i usually go to sleep like around one in the morning because yeah i'm always doing my homework super late just because i can't sleep properly sleep so i just tied up my hair right now because it gets super annoying and i'm gonna make myself a green smoothie the ones that i usually post on instagram like that i always drink every single morning but today i just didn't have the willpower to do one right as soon as like i woke up i just woke up and just started turning in my what is it called homework assignment but yeah i will be showing you guys what my green smoothie looks like it's super super tasty and i just have to say this it's very energetic so let me just get my so i'm just gonna get myself my cup i have the ninja blender which is by far the best blender out there in the market because you can create smoothies almost every single day and you're just being healthy oh my god so i don't think i have bananas and that's like one of the main ingredients i use for my smoothie but i'll see what i have right now i'll show you guys what i have so i found half a banana in my fridge i'm so happy and so freaking like i'm just so happy because there's a banana half a banana i have to do some grocery shopping today but here i'll show you guys exactly what i'm going to be adding to my green smoothie sometimes i change it sometimes it's the same ingredients i add sometimes i just mix it up because i get tired of the same taste over and over and over again but the main ingredients are that i use are banana spinach and blueberries okay blueberries and another of my key ingredients into making this green smoothie is matcha if you don't have matcha with you I don't know what you're doing because like matcha is like amazing. It has so many good benefits for your body, uh, for your mind, and as well it's like caffeine, <laughs> pure caffeine. It says that it is a natural energy boost. And when I say natural, it really is natural. I mean, this is amazing. I think for like the past four days, and I think that's the reason why I can't fall asleep at night, but it is what it is. I work a lot and I also have to study. I just have to do a lot of homework and read, so I like it. <laughs> yeah, this is my half a banana. <laughs> this is the half a banana that I'm adding. I'm going to add a handful of blueberries. Just make sure to wash them. Because that's what I'm about to do right now. So I am going to be adding a green apple, half a green apple to my smoothie. Just to give it a different taste. Because usually... I use the same ingredients every single day. Um, every single day. I'm just looking for a knife. So the key ingredient to my smoothie is matcha. Like at first, if you're not used to matcha, like drinking matcha, it can be a little bit bitter. This is the amount I put. Teaspoon into my 
my drink. And that's it. I get a water bottle. And I just fill my drink halfway, just like so. I think I added too much water this time, but it is what it is. I'll drink it. But yeah, if you're not used to drinking matcha, it does have like a bitter, weird taste. I don't know how to describe it. You get used to it. So yeah, you get used to it, but this right here is amazing. So I'm back in my room right now and I'm just gonna drink my green smoothie. This is how it looks like. It tastes amazing. Like for some odd reason, I can't taste the matcha in this green smoothie. can't taste it is because I added some dates. Dates are super, super um, yummy. They are so sweet. It tastes amazing. You guys know how I mentioned that I added so much water. It kind of like overflowed, but it is what it is. All right, so I just finished drinking my green smoothie and it is 12.52 p.m. and I have class at 1.15 where I have to like show my face and have my, um, what is it, my video turned on. So yeah, but before I do that, I'm just going to start curling my hair because I want to do my hair. It's a bit of a mess right now. It's a bit drier now, so that's what I'm going to be doing right now. So just... But some music and start curling my hair quickly because I only have like 15 minutes left. Literally, I only have 15 minutes. So. I just finished my classes right now and my husband got off of work already so I obviously changed shirts as you guys can see I'm wearing a black long sleeve now I was wearing my PJs all day today and yeah I just like needed to get out of them it's like 5 what time is it it's 5 46 already and I've been wearing my PJs all day I mean this is how my day looks like when I have classes I don't do anything other than just sit down and be in front of the computer. But yep, that was my day. And surprisingly, the product that I used to curl my hair, it's like a heat protectant for my hair, but my curl stayed, which I'm so freaking happy about it because usually they never stay. Like I curl them and then they just like disappear into, they just disappear. So yeah, that is the end of the vlog for today's vlog, but I will continue to be vlogging tomorrow. Good morning. Today is Friday morning, and I'm about to make myself some breakfast because I am starving. I'm going to make myself some egg whites and some avocado, just kind of like guacamole because I don't like plain avocado. I'm going to be adding some onions. And I don't care what else I'm going to be adding, but I'm so hungry. It's 9.30 in the morning right now. My husband's still asleep because he had to do some work yesterday. But I'll tell you guys something before I start cooking. I am in the process of whitening my teeth like at home by myself with the whitening strips. I applied one yesterday, like right before I went to sleep. It was like 30 minutes before I went to sleep. I left it there for like 25 minutes or something. I didn't even count the time. And now, this morning, my teeth feel so sensitive. I mean, like, as soon as I woke up and I took, like, the first, like, I opened my mouth, I felt the air go through my teeth. It was, like, this weird-ass sensation, and it hurts. Like, right now, I mean, it doesn't hurt. It just feels, like, uncomfortable. And, um... Uh, 
they are getting wider I'm happy for that but at the same time I hate that sensation of like having sensitive teeth so yeah that sucks and look my lips are super super dry I added some chapstick already but it's not helping they just continue to dry up so what I'm about to do is I'll show you guys later what I'm gonna do this helps me a lot it just like moisturizes my lips to the max Avocado came out. Guys, I almost burned that toast right there. Wow. I put him at high heat and I didn't even realize it until I was done cutting my avocado, which I already did. It's right here. Making my husband a breakfast sandwich. I'm gonna be adding some chicken breast turkey. And I'm also gonna be adding some Sonoma Jack cheese. This is my outfit of the day, you guys. I'm just wearing this leopard zebra button-up shirt. I think I'm gonna like completely button it up to here. I'm also wearing this high-waisted skinny jean, like super, super high-waisted. Are from Express, and the reason why I bought these is because this it's completely buttoned up, and it just gives it a different type of style. I never had had pairs like this before. And I'm really loving it because they do feel super comfy. I haven't done my makeup yet, but I will. It's going to be something so minimal. The reason why is because here in California, it's supposed to be fall. I mean, fall already started. But the weather is upside down. There's still fires going on around the area. At the moment, if you go outside, which I will be showing you guys, it's super hazy, foggy, and there's like lots of smoke. So yes, this is my look for today. I also want to mention that I have this cute little ankle bracelet that I found in my jewelry box. I thought I lost it, but I didn't. My auntie gave me this since I was like 10, I think, and now it finally fits. So I'm going to start doing my makeup right now, but oh my god, I'm not crying, it's just that I always put like some eye drops into my eye, and uh, they have like this minty, mint sensation to it, so my eyes get like super watery, like it hurt, like it doesn't hurt, it's just like a weird sensation, but then it feels like really good. It moisturizes my eye the reason why i use eye drops is because my eyes tend to get super super dry so this is like a lubricant to them yeah i'm gonna start doing my makeup right now oh my god all right so to moisturize my face as always i'm going in with my rose the fresh rose deep hydration face cream
so this is how my makeup ended out to be and I am also in the process of filming another video that's why you guys see the difference between the lighting and it's because I obviously have an LED light in front of my face right now because I'm going to be doing a clothing haul so please stay tuned for my next video but yeah this is how my makeup turned out to be i am wearing some drita lashes in the style bezels i don't know if i have mentioned this before but i do sell eyelashes online so please check out my website i will link it down below so we're going to ulta right now because i am looking oh i'm sorry not ulta but sally's i'm so confused wait all right so we're going to sally's right now because i want a nail polish that they might sell there i think i'm not sure about that but i hope they do have it because i bought this nail polish like a long time ago and i can't use it because it has a number i think it's the base coat or the undercoat no the base coat or the top coat that i need i'm not sure so i'm just gonna go look for that at sally's and then we're going to costco and then we're going home right baby yeah but you're gonna cook for me thank you All right, I'm just gonna go inside and ask if they have the nail polish that I'm looking for. So I just walked in into Sally Beauties and I think it, the name is, or the brand name is Sally Hansen. And oh look, there's a the guy. <laughs> and uh, um, she told me that it was gonna be inside Rite Aid. So and we're about to go in inside Rite Aid. Hopefully they have it because I really I do want it. it really, really bad really want that I really want that nail polish oh here it is oh no this is a gel matte step two matte venice protection so this is it right here So we just got home from Costco, we went grocery shopping, and I'm about to do my nails in a bit. I'll be showing you guys what is the other nail polish, what is the other nail polish that I was talking about, cause I didn't realize it, I just went off based on what this one said, like step two. This one's a matte step two coat, and then the one that I was looking for is a gloss, which is the number two, the step two as well, but it's a glossy one. But then I got this matte one. I ain't mad at it. Hopefully it comes out like really nice. This is going to be my first time trying it. It says that with these nail polish, you can they can last up up to eight days. You don't need a UV light. And yeah, I recently cut my nails just yesterday because one of them broke and I was like, you know what? All of them have to go. I hate having uneven nails and it's been so long since I've been to the nail salon ever since this whole COVID thing started I've been doing my nails at home when I have time when I remember but yeah I'll show you guys what other color I'm talking about all right so this is a nail polish oh, why is it focusing okay so this is a nail polish that I bought like two months ago I think and I didn't have the ah I didn't have the step two, but I finally found it, thank God. And if you guys are wondering what this uh, bowl of rice is, my husband had the brilliant idea of throwing, just putting to wash his um, pants, his work pants, and his AirPods were in his work, work pants. So as soon as he remembered, he started running, he was freaking out, he's like, no, no fudge. Like, I can't believe it. I'm so dumb, blah, blah, blah. And yeah, I told him, I'm like, just put them in a bowl of rice, but hopefully, and hopefully they work, but I doubt it because we just came home. Um, We just came home. We've been out all day and <laughs> we just came home and we've been out all day. And he, he did that early in the morning. Like, he took him out of the washing machine and then placed him on this bowl but we just came home not too long ago and he was all like hopefully like there's no water like it has been all soaked by the rice but no there's like water inside he's like they're gone 
they're gone they're dead <laughs> so that sucks oh, so they're connected. <clears throat> they're connected oh they're connected to you to your phone can you play something Oh, disconnected now. <laughs> oh, that sucks. So this is how the nail polish looks like with one coat. Not that bad. It's not that bad, honestly. Like, it looks really pretty already. And that's just one coat. And it's, like, even out throughout my nail beds. Hopefully they do. Hopefully it does last the seven days that they say it won't check so i just added the step two gel mat and they are looking very pretty oh my gosh i'm like so obsessed i'm gonna tell my husband if he can hold my camera and i can show you guys do you see the difference that is so cool all right p <laughs> but yeah these are my nails so these don't have the matte gloss, and then these do. And this is like only one coat, so I'm very happy with it. Okay, so it's late at night, so me and my husband, we decided to Netflix and chill. But not that type of chill. Just watch Netflix, okay? Dirty minds. <laughs> you guys should have seen my husband <laughs> in the background. He's like, don't say that, Sandra. Don't say that. No. <laughs> but anyways, we're watching American. What is it, baby? What are we watching? I don't know. You told me. I don't know. I just want to know the actual name here. I took a picture of it. Alright guys, I'll talk to you guys. Oh, American Murder in American Murder, The Family Next Door. And that's what I'm watching. I saw it on Inside... It did, no, I think it was on 2020. No, it wasn't on 2020. It was on a different... Um, I forgot what show I watched it, but... I think it was 2020. Was it 2020? Yeah. Okay, but but I just had to rewatch it again because Netflix is like coming out with some like really good um, documentaries, movies, and all of the above. So yeah, that's what we're watching with my husband right now. And my hair is so messy. And it's late at night. But I think this is going to be the end of the vlog, you guys. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time. Bye, guys.